all right it is wednesday good lord and i wanted to give y'all a quick tour of the garden it is hot um we're not gonna how does that thing keep falling focus um we're not gonna deal with the herbs because y'all know the heat be killing herbs so we're gonna look at everything else so my flowers are thriving very nicely and we got a cucumber plant coming in down here i'm surprised that these greens are not completely dead and I've been watering, so. Oh, we have some zinnias popping up through here. You can see all the tall ones there. All right, over here. The basil is doing well still. We have some zinnias. I think we're gonna have a borage flower popping up soon, hopefully. Um, yeah. All of these herbs are still doing fine because they can tolerate heat well. It's just the other stuff um that's a pretty borage this one i forgot to bring in the house this calendula but we have another one coming in so um yeah and you can see that the oregano is flowery and that's because of all this heat but i'm not gonna complain because it is summertime we have a volunteer tomato plant popped up here look at that really pretty zinnia these ones remind me of pom-poms the flat ones they're cute but i love the little pom-pom looking ones as you can see this one is about to start producing more flowers lots of flowers we have our first red tomato and we have lots of flowers popping up lots and lots of tomato flowers looks like we're about to get one right here too over here what do we have going on a really pretty tomato there we have some tomatoes down there and we have some more flowers coming in more flowers zinnias i don't know if these tomato plants are going to survive i need to get out here and cut all this look at all this this is ridiculous i need to cut all this back so that i can see the flowers more but these tomato plants are doing good this one lots of flowers on there the basil there has flowered because of this heat uh, let's see, do we have any peppers? Oh, we do. We have two peppers there. No cucumbers over here, I don't think. I don't even know what's going on with the cucumbers, but the beans are coming up. I don't see any flowers yet, but they're steady growing. We have another pepper here. I can't wait until these start to flower. The lemongrass is doing its thing. And inside here, there's, I don't know if you can see it. I don't want to touch the lemongrass because I'm actually <laughs> allergic to touching fresh lemongrass. Just found that out. But you can see I have some okra popping up in here. I did read that I could put okra in this laundry basket with this lemongrass. Oh, I have a loofah plant popping up through there. You can't see it because of all the grass, but I'll get back there and get that together. We have some, some things popping in here. <laughs> I don't remember what I planted in there. We have a few green beans that have dried up, but it's still growing. Um, we have another pepper there. And this poor little plant. Another bell pepper. Um, the corn, I'm gonna pull these stalks up because they didn't do anything but we have some new ones coming in. So I think, yeah, I'm gonna probably pull these up, but I'm gonna do it this weekend. No raspberries, but it's still growing. That one has gotten really tall. Blueberry bush is still coming in nicely. We have some flowers here. Oh, look at that. We got a little baby eggplant popping up and that's a sunflower seed that I just dropped down to see if it would grow and it's coming in. Oh, I have another sunflower um right there so hopefully that and i think they're teddy bear sunflowers um over here we have a squash and now here we have another squash we have another one there our peas are doing pretty good in the shade i'm surprised that they're tolerating this heat but um nothing here i think i've lost a plant this one i'm probably gonna just dig it up it keeps falling. I don't know. I'll, I I need to get out here Saturday. I can't do it this during the week 
but I am gonna get out here Saturday. I might put a, like a little gate around it. Um, I got some yellow leaves I need to trim. Let's see, oh, we got another zucchini coming in and another leaf that needs to come off. The jasmine is still so pretty and nice and green. These are potato plants and some of these and they are dead or dying from the heat. And I've been watering it every day, so I'll get out here later. But the peach tree, y'all remember how she was a baby. She's really sprouting up. Um, we have beets down in there. I'm gonna take this gate off Saturday so that y'all can see. You can see all the radish leaves. All of that is radish, all of that. So excited, I can't wait to show you guys. I don't think I have any strawberries coming in. The strawberry plants are getting big. I keep getting lots of flowers, but the strawberries are, you know, I don't know. I got to get in there and clean it out though. But the nasturtium flowers are so pretty. We have some pretty deep color red ones in here. And then the nice bright, vibrant orange. We have a melon. Hey, watermelon, watermelon. And we have another one here. And the cantaloupe plant is has gotten tall. It's, uh-oh, I didn't want it to do that. No, I know I shouldn't be doing that. But I want it to connect up here because I want it to grow up and over, not that way. Um, green beans, we have plenty of flowers popping up. So there's one there. We have flowers back there. Oh God, we got another cantaloupe plant back here. Mm -mm, I'm gonna have to get out here and thin this out because I think I got another cantaloupe plant over there. Y'all, I gotta get out here Saturday and thin this out or just make it make, it make sense. Um, do we have, oh, we got a yellow bean. Let's see. I'm trying to get it. I can't get it, but I wanna show y'all. That's a yellow one because I do have yellow beans actually planted. And the cucumbers. We have a cucumber there. And let's see, do we have any more? Oh, we got a cucumber right here, right there. And we have another one there. And do we have any over here? But the pineapple tomato plant is getting nice and tall. We have nasturtium coming up in here now with the peppers. Um, let me see, do we have any cucumbers over here? I don't really see any, but y'all, oh, look, there's one. Look how tall this thing is. Look at that. Oh, I just stepped in a hole. But this thing is so tall, it is bending the, these are six feet and it's taller than that. <laughs> I'm gonna need to get some stronger, um, bamboo stakes because this is way too heavy for this way too heavy so i gotta figure out how to better get this stabilized and i'm gonna have to trim some of these leaves off because they're starting to cover up my plant and i need my tomato plant to have sun but look at this one. Ooh, salsa garden is coming through honey yes let's see this tomato plant looks good I'm going to have to stake this one up too because she's getting a little top heavy. And the cilantro looks really good. And our peppers are coming in. So that's a nice little mixture for salsa. And the eucalyptus is really thriving over here. And the leaves are so soft. They're like velvety. So, oh gosh, let me see. Oh, it smells so good. But yeah. That's a quick walk through the garden in all this heat. I just wanted to share with you guys what's going on in my garden. And I'll talk to y'all later.